I am honored to have an incredible editor and someone who I admire very much guest host a tutorial on the channel today. The tutorials on his channel are beyond useful for Final Cut Pro editors, so if you aren't already subscribed to him, I would highly, highly recommend doing so. Hey Serge, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks, Dylan. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and just like Dylan, I make Final Cut Pro tutorials and other tips related to filmmaking to help you make better videos. Today, I'd like to talk about a few things you can do to help you edit your videos faster and more efficiently. The first tip I have for you, I learned from Tyler Stallman. You may have heard of him, and I can't even begin to describe how helpful it's been to me. If you have one long take, like a talking headshot or an interview, before making any cuts, drop it into your timeline and make it into a compound clip. You can do this by selecting a clip in your timeline and using the keyboard shortcut Option G. Edit this compound clip just like you would the original clip. Now, after making all your edits, if you need to make an adjustment to all your clips, like reframing the shot or adding a color correction, instead of making this adjustment to all your clips individually, double click any of your clips to go into your compound clip. Make your adjustment to the clip inside this compound clip. When you go back to your timeline, any adjustments made to the clip inside your compound clip will be applied to all the clips in your timeline. And the best part is if you need to adjust any clips individually here, you still can, and the rest of your clips will not be affected. This has saved me a ton of time when I edit my videos. The last method works great if you're editing one long take, but what if you need to add the same adjustment or an effect to a number of different clips, like adding a color correction to a number of B-roll shots? To save time, instead of doing this to every clip individually, you can copy and paste attributes. Select one of the clips in your timeline and make your adjustments. For this demo, I'll add a color correction and add an adjustment effect from the effects browser. When you have your clip looking the way you want, press Command-C to copy it. Command click all the other clips you want to transfer your effects to and press Shift Command V to paste attributes. In the pop-up window, every adjustment you made to your clips will be selected. Now you can apply all of them or just a few specific ones to your selected clips. Click the paste button to paste these attributes to all your selected clips. Much faster than doing each clip individually. Next, let's take a look at transferring adjustments and effects between different projects. For example, when I record these videos, I have a small studio set up, so everything is controlled and consistent across all my videos. When I import my footage into Final Cut Pro, I usually add a simple color correction, and on the audio side, I add some light compression and a reverb remover. These steps stay consistent across all my videos. To save time, I can take all these steps and save them as an effect preset. Let's start with the audio effects first. Select the audio inspector, and at the very bottom, click the Save Effect Preset button. Give your preset a name, select what category you want to save it in, and what effects you want to include. Hit the Save button. Do the same thing in the Video Inspector and save your color correction as a preset. Now, when you edit your next project, instead of going through all the steps again, all you have to do is open your Effects Browser and drag your custom effect preset over your clip. The last tip I have for you is using adjustment layers. Final Cut Pro doesn't come with adjustment layers built in, but if you have Motion 5, they're very simple to make. You can also download an adjustment layer plugin from a number of different places. Adjustment layers can be very useful if you're trying to add a specific look to your entire project or just a part of your project. You just add it above your timeline and ripple trim it to the length you need. Now, instead of modifying or adding effects to clips in your project, you add them to the adjustment layer. Whatever you do to your adjustment layer will affect all the clips under it. So if, for example, I add an aged film effect to my adjustment layer, that look will be applied to every clip under it. And if I want to add more clips to my project, all I have to do is adjust the length of my adjustment layer, and the exact same effects will be applied to all my new clips. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, go have a look at my channel. There's a lot more tutorials like this one. And a huge thank you to Dylan for letting me share these on his channel. It was an honor. Now, back to you, Dylan.
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial from Surge. If you were already subscribed to him, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see how many of you already learned from him. And if not, definitely check out his channel. I will leave links in the comments and the description. I will also be appearing for a guest tutorial on his channel about four color grading pointers for more professional looking footage. So make sure to head over to his channel to support your boy. Have a great rest of your day, guys.